All right, so I went on ahead. I, uh, for those who know, I had that card pack incident uh, back on Monday's Hidden Arsenal Special Edition opening up, and I thought I'd kind of let you guys know where I'm at on that subject. Um, so I'm actually going to go right here through the, uh, the U.S. card support. Um, this is the email that they tell you to get a hold of them on and say, oh, here's my problem, you know, can you help me out, right? So I just want to kind of read you guys my email and uh, kind of the responses I've been having going back and forth since, uh, since, since, since I first emailed them out uh, that night I recorded. So let's kind of go through this email right here then. And of course, now you know my name's Tyler Newman, uh, Newman Pro. There kind of made sense uh, with that. So kind of read my email here. Uh, Dear Konami, I have recently come into the possession of some Hidden Arsenal Special Edition sets. And upon opening them, it was discovered that one of the packs of Hidden Arsenal, the original Hidden Arsenal one with uh, Brionic uh, on it, um, has it there, uh, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, yeah, the banned, currently only banned Xyz monster right now, um, discovered that one of the packs of Hidden Arsenal was missing one of the cards, particularly the secret rare that would have been customarily in the front of the pack, as you guys who have seen that, uh, seen that video, know that all the Hidden Arsenals come with the secret rare in the front, because the ratio is you will get one secret rare, and then you get four super rares. And the secret rare seemed to come in the front of every one of the packs. And when we opened this up, yeah, lo and behold, there was only four supers. There was no fifth card whatsoever, even though the pack says clearly five cards in each pack. So pretty much I got gypped out of a card, period. And particularly the super, I mean, excuse me, the secret rare that should have been in there. So kind of picking off here then. Um, so customarily in the front. So I'm explaining everything pretty crystal clear. You know, it's not like I'm trying to screw them out of anything. It's not like I'm making this up as I go. I'm clearly labeling everything as, as I go along. Continue to see here. The box was completely sealed with plastic as is customary for this set. So there were, you know, and here I think I mistyped this. I thought I looked this over um, for this set. So there were to signs of no signs. It was supposed to be no, not two. Yeah, autocorrect. Um, there was supposed to be no signs of outside tampering. The only logical explanation would be that there was a factory error that did not input the secret rare into the set with the other four cards. As you may know, the secret rares and all the other rarities get printed on separate sheets because of the way paper works. So, you know, makes perfect sense. Y'all missing the secret rare makes sense. It didn't just input it somewhere in the factory. There was a mistake. Um, I would politely ask what can be done to correct this error. Thank you very much. Tyler Newman. So I waited then because it was over the holiday. Um, didn't get back, didn't hear anything back until the 14th, which then got this one on the uh, 14th, the morning of the 14th, today's 15th, so yesterday. Um, Dear Konami customer, I like how they won't address me by name, I give them my name. Uh, thank you for contacting Konami Digital Entertainment Inc. with your inquiry. Uh, essentially a basic statement. We can understand the confusion and frustration of not receiving a specific card in a set. However, the odds are stated on the package in regards to the card rarity. Stated odds reflect an average of the entire production run. No ratio is guaranteed to exist within an individual box or case. On the packaging, it will state the odds for the secret and ultra rare cards, but also states that only one rare is guaranteed in every pack. So, kind of speaking here, this is starting to already sound like a generic reply message for people who are just asking for, oh, I didn't get a secret, I didn't get a su super, I didn't get a, a hollow card in my pack. I understand. I, I, I've been opening packs for how long now, as you've seen? Just, this is me recently. I've opened up packs year, years before this, before I started getting back into it and started to open up this channel to just kind of say, hey, here's, here's what I'm doing now. Um, but the concept is, did you not read that I said hidden arsenal? That is a whole different scenario. It's not nine cards with the one rare guaranteed with all these other different things. And if you notice, they don't state the odds really anymore on the packages. They just say, oh, this set contains X amount of supers, X amount of there. They don't state the odds anymore. Um, so they pretty much are just assuming that this is a regular pack, you know, no big deal. It's your fault. You know, we can't guarantee it. The odds for the secret and ultra rare cards are spread over the production run, not in each individual case. That's not the case in this situation. You are guaranteed a secret. That's the whole point of the hidden arsenals, what they were. Now, you know why people call hidden arsenals trash. I wanted that Bryonic. <laughs> that was the card that I was hoping to pull. And well, you just shot me out of getting a secret and that's the rarity he is. 
We do apologize for the confusion and thank you for your feedback. Best regards, Serena, whoever you are. Uh, your name's here. <laughs> uh, Konami Digital Entertainment, customer service, there's your hours. Okay, so what do you think I did? <laughs> of course I emailed them back. Uh, oh, and all the fun, you know, this is reporting confidential to the designated recipients. It may contain information that's privileged or otherwise protected for disclosure. And that, that's essentially saying it's an email that's going to me. Um, so it is my email. I can show it now. It's, my, it's within my right to show my own emails. Like I was, you know, like protecting, I, I work insurance people. Um, I know important privileged information, my email address, no big deal. <laughs> I'm not showing it to you, um, but no big deal here. Um, so here's my response to Konami. Dear Konami, I apologize, the font's too small right now. Um, I would like to make this response as it seems my original message was not understood nor the specific booster pack taken into consideration. The pack in question is Hidden Arsenal 1, which features Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, as the cover art. I know full well the pull ratios as I have been a customer of this particular franchise since 2006. Actually, a little bit earlier, um, but 2006 is the, the year that I remembered um, you know, being really into it uh, back after the GOAT format time and stuff. Uh, however, this pack does list the ratio as 1-1 one, one secret rare, which does refer to the entire production line, line understood. Yeah, fine. Maybe it's not saying one to one ratio in the pack. However, this means one pack somewhere must have two secret rares, if that were the case, because you have to, you know, there should, every secret rare should have been printed and put in a pack and they're not gonna make any more packs. So one to one ratio, there has to be one pack out there that's got two secret rares somehow. Um, if that were the case, and I would have had a fifth super rare. So I would have had a fifth card if that was simply the case, that the odds just weren't in my favor and I somehow out of the blue was that weird person that didn't get the one-to-one -one ratio in a pack. Um, but brushing that aside, I should have gotten a fifth card then anyways. Oh, look, maybe I, I, I may have gotten a response back from them uh, right now. <laughs> That's the one email here. I'll check that out later. Um, and then I'll add it as an extra bit here. Uh, the pack's also how pack is, uh, this pack is also an all hollow pack as normal for the Hidden Arsenal series and only containing secret and super rares, which is true. Not to mention, I actually had 10 boxes of these Hidden Arsenal special editions containing one pack of Hidden Arsenal, one, two, and three each. So I'm not like a just out of the blue, get this one pack thing or one box. I, I had several, so. That's where I go in to say that each pack had five cards with four being super and one being secret as the ratios which suggest, except this one pack. So I'm showing that, okay, I had a whole bunch of packs opening up and they were all exactly like this. You know, secret in front, four supers in back. If you've seen that video, you guys know. So this is what struck me as weird. It's not like the one fluke, like the one thing I had and I'm stupid and I'm missing out on all the other Oh, this doesn't happen all the time. Okay, how many packs did I open up there? 30 different ones from Hidden Arsenal, 10 from each series, and they were all the same except this one. Now, my second piece refers to the pack in question. There was only four cards in it, period. This is where I state, did you not read the message? Literally, I said I only got four cards when I said I should get five. All four were super rares, which led to my conclusion that the missing card in question was a secret rare. This also makes sense from my knowledge of rarity productions, as you would not print a super and a secret on the same sheet. If my knowledge is faulty on that note, please feel free to correct me. Nobody corrected me. I'm pretty confident I know how they do the printing. In the end, this is not a question of pull ratios, as you have come to determine, but a matter of product saying there are five cards in a pack and only containing four. Personally, I feel the previous response to be a generic reply versus one that took my, my detailed description into consideration. I understand you may receive many emails a day that would require such a response, but in this case, it is not a question of not getting a rarity I hope for, but rather not getting a fifth card that I was promised by the company. The package says five cards in this pack. If I get four, then something's wrong. Someone lied to me. I have included a photo of the ratios listed on this pack taken from the exact pack in question. So that's just kind of here. I just included a picture of the back of the card showing here's the ratios there should be five cards in this pack it says it right there that's the exact pack i pulled from i found out uh, i picked it up after as you saw i went searching for it um here's my response thank you for contacting once again dear konami customer nobody talking to me directly yet 
Um, thank you for contacting. Unfortunately, we are unable to replace individual cards. We apologize for this inconvenience. So pretty much you're saying I'm screwed. I get four cards when I'm told I should get five, and you're going to do nothing for me. This is, this is really going to hurt my chance of getting sponsored by them, but, you know, I love the game. I love the game, but I also want to see people take responsibility. And as a company, you should. I mean, you make millions of dollars, you should take responsibility for each of these incidents as they occur. If I need the video as proof, I'll give them that video. <laughs> you saw me open it. Clearly, it's not like magic, like I'm lying. I, I, that's why I'm glad I record nowadays. Um, dear Konami customer, uh, dear Konami, no, this is me responding back again. I simply summarize, To simply summarize this conversation, I purchased a product that says there are five cards in the pack. There turns out to be only four cards in the pack. The response I received essentially states that it is not our fault. We can do nothing to help you for this mistake because it was a single card missing. That is the chance you take by buying our product. Just as I say right there, essentially that's what they're telling me is it's my, it's my bad luck for being told there's five cards in this pack. There are only being four. It's my fault. In a similar context, this sounds the same as being sold a five piece set of pots and Upon opening the box, finding out there's only four pots, I reach out to the manufacturer who says, sorry, there's nothing we can do. That's the chance you take when purchasing our product. Yeah, it's the exact same. Sure, it's it's sense we're talking about here and when it comes to cards, um, especially. And so now when you're talking about a company like this, it's pennies that it's costing you to produce these things. You're selling them for multiple dollars. Pots, okay, I don't think it's costing them pennies to make, but they're selling them for more than what cards are. But you can still, it's still the same aspect you're saying i have five things i should be getting five things i open the package that says i should be getting five things to only get four and be told well think about if a company did that think about if they short printed put four cards put eight cards in each pack instead of nine sounds like legally they can do that and they're fine with that and they can't do a thing to do it they can't do a thing to help you out on that so why don't they just print eight cards or seven cards and say there's nine in the pack makes money makes more money I politely ask uh, in this case let's see here uh, oh sounds to me that if the entire pack was missing from the special edition box or no cards were in an empty wrapper and not just a single card from that pack missing then you would have been able to do something about it I politely ask if there's someone I may contact directly that I can voice my concerns with and how the situation has been handled so I, I handle things like this fairly often okay I'm not some little kid writing to a company. I'm a concerned uh, um, a concerned customer asking for, I want what I pay for. I want what your company promises me. And if I was running the company, that's going to be, I'm a customer service oriented guy. That's my top of the line is make the customer happy if we wrong you. And that's what I feel like in this case. That I have been wronged and I'm being pushed aside. And then final response was, dear Tyler, we can see now I'm being called Tyler after just being called Konami customer. Um, dear Tyler, we can forward your feedback to the appropriate department as they do not have a direct line of contact, which is common. You know, I worked in an industry like that before where they don't have a direct line where the first line of defense here is this email address and we sort through everything and then pull it up to the appropriate people when need be. Totally understand that. But feel free to respond to this email and we'll be sure to forward it along. I always like to be able to talk to somebody directly. There's really no call-wise contact. And I don't think this needed to be a call-wise contact. Um, and then pretty much my response then here, I'm not gonna open up because my email I typed in. But essentially I said, Serena, who has been the person helping me out here, nothing against her, I'm sure this is what she's told to do by management. Uh, no one individual person's gonna be doing this to you. Serena, please feel free to forward, uh, please feel free to forward them a copy of this entire email thread. While they may not have, and I know what I wrote, uh, while they may not have direct contact info, in this manner, they have direct contact info with me and can reach back to me when needed. So there, I pretty much left it at that. I said, here you go. Thank you for your help, um, Serena. I also say thank you on that then. Give them my email address and say, if 
they need me to provide my phone number, I will gladly provide my phone number so I can talk to someone directly. My hope is somebody actually does contact me. And maybe that's what this email is about. So that's where I stand right now. Um, I'll go ahead, check through this email bit here. Um, and you may see it cut out because again, I'll cut this part from the video. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so I'm kind of back with this and here I get my response from Serena here. Um, Dear Tyler, again, that's nice. She's starting to use my direct name. I do that all the time when I talk to people. I use their direct name. I don't keep referring to them by customer. Uh, <laughs> Dear Tyler, thank you for contacting, you know, generic thing again. Um, we'll be sure to forward to the appropriate department. However, please note that we will not be able to inform you on the decision that results from your feedback. So that is essentially all I'm getting here is that, oh, it's like a suggestion box. It's like an anonymous feedback. That's not helping me. That is not personally writing the wrong that you have done me directly. Maybe now you'll because the odds are just, this doesn't happen very often. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna fix the machines to not have this issue happen again? No, that's, you're not gonna do that. That's, that's too much money to fix something that happens once in a blue moon. It just so happens that I was out on that blue moon night. <laughs> we will be sure to forward it, appropriate, won't get back to me. Thank you for your continued interest. So essentially it's just, I'm being told, no, we're not gonna do anything for you. This is a generic, I know, kind of a service oriented way um, as it is customer service team. I know what they do in, in many different companies. I've been around people. You want to act like I'm some little kid. I've been around. I've worked with different companies in this sense. I have seen what they do. I know people who work in other companies in this sense. And this is one of those blow off things kind of to finish it off here. I'm being blown off saying that, well, nobody's going to talk to you again. So goodbye. So that's it. That's where we stand. I'm chipped out a secret rare card. I'm pissed about it. Let's put it that way. I am super pissed about it. You know, it could have been one of the not con not very common secrets, you know, that nobody cares about. It's, it's fine. That's what I get. That's the chance I take. I know I'm going to get a secret. I don't know which one. That's what the pack states. And in this case, I've been chipped out of that possibility and essentially have been told it's not our fault. That's your luck. Goodbye. So while I will continue to support the game because of the community and all the people involved, not the company anymore, it's all the people that are involved that have surrounded themselves with the community. I'm going to keep into the community on that. It's not going to stop me from opening up packs. I love doing that. I like the card game as it is. I like the art. I like all the people that put into it. But now that it's come down to the customer relations side of things, it was something I slightly expected. But I would just like to voice out now that I think Konami... You should really look back into your customer service side of things because me as a person feels like I'm being wronged here, that I'm being told it's my fault, and that does not bode well for what I think of you as a company versus what I think of the things that are produced by you. So I do not hate the game. I do not hate Yu-Gi-Oh! as it is, but I am very dissatisfied in Konami right now as a company stands. I'd like to thank you guys for watching here. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, comment, like, you know, let me know. And let me know if, uh, especially in this case, let me know if you've had any of these issues with Konami where you have been wronged and nothing has been done about it. Because I've heard of so many stories about the great things that Konami's done for people who have had these issues, especially in the Shonen Jump promo stuff. Um, that's that that's its own thing. Um, but I think the people have been contacted with Shonen Jump instead uh, of, of America. Maybe I, I didn't pay attention that much. <laughs> um, but I heard great things about those when issues have happened. But this feels, and that's a single card being replaced. Uh, you're not getting multiple things in a Shonen Jump promo. You're getting one card. <laughs> but in this case, then, uh, I guess it makes sense they can't 
strip a single card out and send it to you, but you know, there should be some sort of compensation, I would have to say. If I'm dissatisfied with my meal at a restaurant, typically they're going to knock down the bill or say this is on the house. Not be told, well, it's your fault for ordering the meal with the fly and the soup. Newman Pro, signing out.